Hi, George here. And in today's video, I'll be showing you how to make custom classic pants and boots, and then how to sell those in the Roblox marketplace. Now to do this, we'll have to be in the Creator Hub. So over here, it says more, and click on create right there. This takes you into the Creator Hub. Here we are, going to creations, just like this. Avatar items right there, classics, and you want classic pants right down there. And here we go, those are the ones that I'm wearing right now. And we'll make a new one, we'll just make some basic blue jeans. Fairly easy, but I'll show you the whole process here. But first, before we start this, I'm doing Robux giveaways every single week. If you wanna be involved in that, real easy. You'll need to have a booth over in, please donate. Make sure you have a button that is worth 50, along with your other buttons, of course. And then simply subscribe to my channel, and then in the comments, put your Roblox username. And that's all there is to it. I pick three winners each week, and when I hit 100,000 subscribers, I'll be doing a real big giveaway at that point. Okay, let's get back to work over here. Now, the first thing you need is going to be the template to make the pants. And I have that download online to make it easy for you. And it's right here on my website. I'll put the link for this page in the description so you can get right to it. And the link is right here. It says classic shirt and pants templates. Just download that and everything you need is right inside there. Also, while you're here, let's go ahead and do a real fast watch over here on my honey video. I'm getting real close to 1 million views in this one video, just trying to get a few more views for that. So click on that, watch the video, and then come back over here. So download this, unzip it, and then go for the pants template. All right, let's go ahead and open that up inside of Photoshop. Now, if you want to, you can go on and find this in the Creator Hub, but I saved you a big step here, and that's this layer right here, where I've cut out all of those pieces for you. So this is a lot easier than doing all those cutouts for yourself. I mean, you can do that. You can go in here and cut out all these little squares if you want to, that's just fine. But I've saved you all that work, and the download includes this part here, this nice empty part. Okay, let me bring up one of my existing pants textures, and I'll show you how this looks. And here we go. Here's my finished one for the blue camo pants. And here's the boots right down below here. I'll be using these boots in our project today, but I just wanna show you how I did this. It's pretty easy to do. And it will look like this if you're doing just a blocky figure. If you're doing the more three-dimensional figure, it will bend this around a boot shape and it looks really, really nice. This is pretty easy. I just drew these shapes in here. Again, in Photoshop, just circles in here and some blue lines to make the laces. So nothing to it. I have a download for this on my website. If you want to just go ahead and just copy this out and use those pieces, that's also fine. Okay, so let's just put this right here. I'll take this and drop it up like that. So I've just now copied this into my current template. Let's put it in behind that template. So it's now in behind. You can see that if I come in here, let's make a new layer right here. There we go. If I just put a black shape in like this, you can see how the camouflage pants is in behind my template right there. Okay, and that's how we're gonna be doing our new texture. I'll be using this background one for the boots. And we'll put in a new texture on top of that, just like this by putting in our new texture in here between the blue pants and the template with the holes cut out of it. Okay, let's just get rid of this. Now, the next thing we wanna have is just some textures. Let me show you the textures we'll be using. I'll bring those up. We have this one here, it's just a blue jeans texture. And I have this one for the pocket shape. I'll just float those. Now I got these over on a website called Pixabay. It's free downloads for images. Let me show you where that is real fast. And it's right here, it's pixabay.com. And I did a search here for denim texture. Ignore the top row, you have to pay for those. Anything below that, you're fine. And I just grabbed a couple of things in here. I grabbed that one right here and this one over here. Now to download these, just click on the image and choose download. And then you want the small size. It only has one size here, 640 by 426. That's what you want. They're gonna be too big anyway, so go ahead and get the download. I'll include the links for the two images that I downloaded in the description, so go ahead and just grab those. Okay, so I'll just drag and drop these into my working file here, just like that. I'll just hide that pocket for a minute. I'll put that at the top here, and let's come down here to this denim layer. Now, the texture is too big, as you can see. I want that a lot smaller. So I just need to shrink this down in size. I'm in Photoshop, so that's Control-T, keyboard shortcut, gives me my control handles here. And I'll bring it down so that it fits properly on one of my layers like this. That's pretty good right there. I think I like that. If you're in a different program, there'll be a different way to resize your images possibly, but Control T is real standard for a lot of programs. Okay, let's go over here to this image. We're going to right click on this one and let's duplicate that layer, choose OK. And I'll drag one over here. And I'll put this up at the top like this so that it's on top of the boot. So I still show the boot just like that. And same thing on this one. And I just wanna show the boot, there we go. So there's our boots from my previous one. And here's the new denim texture. Now, if I bring back up the stuff in behind here, let me just hide all these things. 
And here's the original template. See this dashed line right there? That's kind of the waistline. That's where the waist is. So I want to have denim clear up to this point and I put the pockets right up in here. Okay, so let's bring back our denim. Here's one denim. I'm going to right click on this one. Let's duplicate this layer. Choose OK. I'll pull that up just to that point or to the dashed line. That's good. Now I don't want it overlapping anything down here. So I'll cut that out. I'll grab the rectangular marquee tool up here. Let me just do a rectangle like that. Hit the delete key and then control D to deselect. So it's not overlapping in here. Let's go ahead. We'll duplicate this layer. Right click and duplicate layer. Choose OK. Put my duplicate over on this side. I like the textures being a little bit off on there because that's kind of where the two sides of the pants are. Okay, I can bring everything back in now. Now on this top layer here, that's the top of my previous texture. I want to get rid of the shirt part of that. This is the sleeve of the shirt. We don't want that. So again, I'll just grab my rectangular marquee tool, make a selection right around that. Get the delete key and just delete that off of our template. And then I want to have the pockets in here. Okay, let's go back up here to the pocket. Now way, way, way too big. So control T and let's just bring this down in size so it fits properly in that pocket area. It's going to be a real small image right there that fits side to side a little long top to bottom i'll hold the shift key down and just stretch that up there's one we need to have it kind of see through in here we'll take care of that in just a second let's right click on that layer duplicate that layer choose okay i'll bring it over here so our duplicate it's backwards of course so Control t hold the shift key down and let me just stretch it this way that flips it around for us and make that fit there we go here's our two pockets just to make this a bit more transparent, go up here to opacity. I'll bring this down to about halfway. I think 66 looks good. I can see my pocket detail, but I also see the texture from this. So 66 is good. Come down to this one and I'll set this at 66 also. Okay, so here's our pockets. Here's everything else. Let's hide that background stuff again. That's right down here. And here's our templates. We have our boots down here. We have our denim pants. And we have transparency for the shirt area. Let's now save this out. And because I have a whole bunch of layers in here, I might want to use this again for a different project. I'm going to first save this as a Photoshop file so I can come back and make changes and do more pants in the future. So do a file, save as. And I'm in a working folder up here. Let me just change the name on this one. Let's call it Template Pants Denim and choose Save. And then we have to save this out as a file. You want to keep your transparency up here. That's very important for this to look good. So for that, let's go ahead. We're going to go create a file. I'll export this as a PNG file. That's what you want. You want the PNG format that keeps your transparency. Choose save. And that's now saved. Okay. Let's now go over and get this into Roblox. And then we'll set it up for sale. Okay. We're back over here. And you want to upload asset. We're in pants. And then upload. And you want to find your file you just made. And it's right here. Choose open. And give it a name. Let's call it denim pants and a description. If you want to sell this, you want a better name and a better description. I'm not going to bother with that right now. And then to upload this, it's going to cost you 10 Robux. So make sure you have 10 Robux. That's anything costs at least 10 Robux to upload. Choose upload. And if you see this, don't worry about that. Let's go into avatar items, into classics, classic pants. And we should see it loading right down here. There we go. That was pretty fast. Notice the white up here. That means that there's nothing here. It's just the pants. We don't have any shirt on this one. And there's the pants template right there. And there's the boots on that. Let's go ahead. We'll check this out and make sure it looks good. Let's go back over to Roblox and into Avatar. Go up to Customize and Purchased. And then Clothing. Classic Pants. And there we go. There's the denim pants. And you can kind of see the pockets in there. And there's the boots we had. So I think that looks pretty good. There's our nice denim pants on there. Okay, let's now put these up for sale. And this back over here in the Creator Hub. So click on the denim pants, takes you back into the configure section. Again, if you're going to be selling this, make sure you have a good description and a good name up here. I'll leave those as is just for now. Click on on sale. You need to put in a price for this. The minimum is five for pants. I'll use the minimum. There we go. And for this one, there's no publishing fee. You'll get different fees in here depending upon what it is that you're uploading. When you get into 3D stuff, those begin to have higher fees. So we're all set. Choose publish item. And notice down here it has the Robux sign and five. So this is now in the store. If you want to see it in the store, go up here to the three dots right there, over to copy, and you want to copy URL. Let's now paste that into our browser and take a look at that. And it's right here. There we go. And of course, we own that because we just made it. 
You can try it on, make sure it looks good on your avatar. There we go, it looks good. Take it back off again. You can see how those shoes work in the blocksy look. It's kind of square blocks, but they look really good on a 3D style right there. Same exact artwork, this looks really nice on the 3D. Don't forget to join my weekly giveaway. I give away Robux every single week. Right now it's in Please Donate, but I'll be setting up a community as well and doing giveaways over in the community pretty soon. If you like this video, hit that thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe, and I'll see you next time.